You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Thanks for joining us on this Worldwide Friday edition. I am your host, Alex Jones. We're going to be here for the next uh, three hours. David Knight is going to take over for most of the third hour to do an in-depth breakdown on the NSA grid tied into the TSA and how they're using it to persecute libertarians, constitutionalists, conservatives, and constitutional peace officers. And we had a big break in the investigation yesterday. He interviewed Richard Mack and the local police chief in New Mexico that was under the county. Some, some, some states have that. New Mexico is one of them. Um, a lot of areas, it's the it's backwards where the police chief of a major city will be over the county. But uh, And uh, the feds came in and basically had him removed because he signed a pledge to uphold the Constitution. What do you think your oath of office is? I mean, Ten years ago, this would be a huge story. Nowadays, it's, uh, oh, well, that's just how the tyranny works. So he's going to be in here uh, airing those exclusive interviews. One of them didn't air last night because they got the interview late. Uh, but they're going to have uh, those two interviews with both those gentlemen um, taped. But then um, David Knight traffic copying that and breaking it all down um, and more in the third hour today. I'll obviously be here in the first and second hour. Uh, Joel Skousen of World Affairs Brief is going to join us to break down the geopolitical banking meltdown, uh, the Al-Qaeda terror threat uh, against the Olympics, uh, what's happening at the Super Bowl, uh, the entire police state uh, that is... Uh, unfolding and, and, and just a whole host uh, of other issues with Joel Skousen, always informative, uh, joining us in the second hour. We are just completely uh, jam-packed with news. Um, I mean, that's par for the course, but today, today is just really crazy with how much of it there is. I'm going to try my best to come back from break and kick off the transmission really officially when a lot of stations join us and go over. Uh, what's happening, but very interesting article that I saw up on DrudgeReport.com that I'm going to have cloned over at InfoWars.com just for posterity in case they take it down because sometimes Politico does. Politico, dear Americans, I saw you naked, and yes, we were laughing, confessions of an ex-TSA agent. We broke all this four years ago in 2010. We told you all of it. We told you they were lying, that they were saving the images. We talked to TSA people on and off record. Uh, we showed the video of them looking at your naked body shot by patriots through the security windows into areas where they even had jokes up on screen about pedo bear, a pedo bear graphic. Uh, pedo bear is like a TSA agent in, in, in you know, a little bear uh, about how they're teaching the kids how to be pedophiles. And that photo and video of that through their screening area has been confirmed. Now, was that TSA agents pointing out what they're doing is wrong? Because in this article, it has them saying, most TSA officers I talked to told me they felt the agency's day-to-day -day operations represented an abuse of public trust and funds. See, they know. In fact, most of them, even though I attack the TSA, it's the, it's the system and the Congress and the president, they almost always ask for my autograph and just, you know, wave me through. But then it'll be some manager comes over who's a thug and, and gets in my face. And they've had countless cases of Hollywood stars where they come over with the printout in England and here, the same systems, and say, can I have a, uh, you sign the naked printout of yourself? Or these men, sometimes uh, it was a case in Texas they settled. It was a really good looking woman. They said, man, you're really hot. and made her take her um, top off down to the bra and they actually asked her out for dates. Because, you know, some guys think if they have the authority, that's their right to then basically push it on a woman. I mean, this stuff really happens. And, uh, you know, it's getting crazier and crazier where they're patting down Eric Baldwin's, Alec Baldwin's, you know, baby daughter, five-month-old daughter. Uh, that's all coming up. Uh, House leaders sell immigration blueprint. Zuckerberg, who says his users are dumb efforts, said uh, anybody who is against open borders is shocking extremists. And they're going to use Facebook to try to 
organize all the illegals and everybody else to break the back of the country. That's all coming up. Sick kids denied care due to Obamacare. It's all coming up. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We know what authoritarianism looks like. We know what an autocratic, oppressive, unfair system where the elite are exempt from the laws and the people are enslaved by them. We know what it looks like. And a very high-tech, disgusting form of it is being established right now. It's so incredibly cynical. You know, when George W. Bush was doing unconstitutional things and was uh, violating the Bill of Rights and Constitution and launching illegal wars, I was a staunch critic. And I was attacked by the establishment right wing and I was attacked by the establishment left wing. Because the establishment left was not actually really against those wars. And they helped to continue them. And now that we've seen six plus years of Obama and the nightmare has been, I don't know, three times worse than Bush on most fronts, ten times on others. I mean, I, I, I'm not exaggerating. It's so insane. I, I, I'm totally shocked. And then I see Democratic Party uh, run and controlled uh, groups out there that make jokes about everything we talk about. Uh, 
you know who the usual suspects are. Raw Story, Media Matters, Huffington Post, uh, Salon. And, and they sit there knowing that we're telling the truth, knowing that we're in a societal crisis, but lying to their readers and viewers going, ha ha, look at Alex Jones, look at Rand Paul, look at Ted Cruz. They're discredited. They're insane. Uh, no one listens to them. Uh, uh, everyone's uh, laughing at them. Uh, there is no tyranny. Obamacare is wonderful. Uh, the wars are wonderful. Uh, funding Al-Qaeda is wonderful. Crushing Assad is wonderful. And I sit there and I look at it and I know that they know that's all a lie. And they're just trying to create a con artist facade that everything's okay. Well, not everything's not okay for you guys. All of your readership and trust levels are plunging. Look at MSNBC, CNN, literally imploded. Uh, libertarianism worldwide is taking over. Uh, the fact that the state is nothing but a corrupt tool of corrupt institutions, both private and corporate and public, is a fact. The truth is we're rising, you're falling. And NBC, MSNBC are sinking to the bottom of who the public trusts. That's the facts. I'm not in a war with you people. You are very sad Benedict Arnold. You are very sad trendies that, that, that try to come up with the best lies and disinformation so that George Soros and people will throw you a bone. I mean, you could put a gun to my head and say lie for the establishment and I would say go to hell. And it's because I'm free and I'm honorable and I'm real. And it just freaks me out that, that out of all the news I'm going to cover here in a moment, it's incredible. I read what was in the, the multi-thousand page Obamacare legislation because senators and others put out cheat sheets of what subsections to go to. And I read hundreds of pages every week or so when different versions came out of the 3,000 pages. I scanned over the 13,000 pages, first 10,000 and 3,000 more of addendums and changes. And basically, it was a blank check to do whatever they want. Share all your data, NSA, uh, the medical records, federalize it, give it to all these corporate interests, kick people off their existing plans, kick people off that uh, had pre-existing conditions, not cover children, lower the quality of care, double, triple, quadruple prices, shut down small health care divisions and providers, small insurance companies and HMOs, small clinic chains that help the poor. I come from a family of physicians and healthcare management. I mean, I know about this stuff. And I had doctors on. I had uh, researchers on. The insurance companies bragged that they wrote it. They lobbied to get it passed. The Republican leadership helped write it. And I said, this is a bipartisan screw job, and it's really going to hurt people. And they said, you're a liar. There's no death panels. You're a liar. It'll cut it in half. You're a liar. You can keep your doctor. And I, I just sit there, and they're still defending it saying we're discredited and Ted Cruz is discredited and they're literally just catering to the most mindless trendies out there. And that hurts me that, that my fellow countrymen could be such evil mercenaries. I don't even hate these people. I'm very, very sad for them because their future is going to be sold out as well. I want prosperity. And I know about British healthcare. I know about UK healthcare. I know about European healthcare. I have crew members that live in Europe and in England. I know when you go in with a cold or the flu, they just give you a pack of aspirin and wipes, like they do in the military. I know how government treats foster children and military and anybody under their control like absolute trash while telling them how much they love them. How they treat police and others that are in the deadly dust of 9-11. Uh, how they treat sailors there in the radiation off Fukushima won't even give them potassium iodate or potassium iodine uh, at the time. But the officers were taking it on the George, on the uh, Ronald Reagan. And I just see this anti human, anti liberty, anti liberal movement. I mean, I'm a liberal. Thomas Jefferson style private property, local control, guns, do what you want as long as you don't hurt somebody else. That's liberal. I'm liberal, folks, but that doesn't mean that I have to accept your lifestyle. You know, if you like guys and that's your issue, I'm not sitting here going after you, attacking you. Just don't try to push it on my children. That's what Vladimir Putin said. And they go, oh, my God, he's a Nazi. He's a blah, blah, blah. This is what we're talking about. We're being dominated. Our liberalness, America's true liberalism, has been taken.